Well, I've gone for a little outing to the local waterworks this afternoon. Uh, you might say, well, so what? But uh, in here is a dinosaur. This triple expansion engine once pumped the water supply for the town. It's a very similar type to those used on the Great Ocean Liners. Theirs would have been much bigger. This only puts out about 400 horsepower, believe it or not. And it stands three floors high to do it as well. And the stroke must be a good six feet. And over here are some of the main pressure gauges for it. And the maker's name underneath. There were once two of these, but in the 60s the other one was scrapped and replaced by a diesel generator when the plant was converted to electric operation. But at least they did think to keep this one. Although it doesn't run on steam, it's compressed air, it will make it turn over, as you see. There is the enormous flywheel, and in front of us, what they call the barring engine. Sometimes these things will stop in the wrong position. And when you try to apply steam, nothing happened. So the barring engine would be fired up, engaging that massive pinion there on the ring gear inside the flywheel. And it would just turn the engine over enough till it kicked into life, at which point the pinion would be thrown out of gear by the inertia and the throttle closed to this little engine here. This thing's the sort of thing you'd have had in a river launch probably about a hundred years ago. The gauge is made by Budenberg Gauge Company and we're still going now. The crankshaft there once drove another pump over there, but that was converted to electric drive. Anyway, I hope you liked it, and see you next time.